Well, the Toronto Maple Leafs have played seven games without Austin Matthews as of now, and they've won six of them. It looks like Matthews will be back next week. However, in tonight's game, the Leafs may have suffered another casualty in the form of Matthew Nyes, one of my favorite Leafs players, by the way. Honestly, Nyes is having a pretty productive season, and right now is the left wing on that second Nylander line. There's been a lot of talk about the hit, so let's check it out ourselves. And I do want to preempt this with an acknowledgement that the Leafs are my second favorite team. Team, and that the optics of the Leafs coming out of this hit with a penalty is tough. So White Cloud lines up Nyes. He initially goes to the box with a major, but the officials review it and they call it no penalty. You know, this was a bit of a strange one. The panel during intermission was totally writing off this hit as purely clean. Online discourse, which is decidedly anti-Vegas, has gone the other way. And again, there are also a lot of Toronto fans. You know, I feel like I'm going to piss some people off with this, but this is a hit which may currently be legal in the NHL. Or if not legal, it may be a penalty. It's the kind of hit that the NHL is not cracking down on very much. Should it be? That's a different question. But I've seen this with Truba a lot. A player who knows exactly how far you can go and maybe even toes over the line. But people are saying he left his feet to make the hit. That's not true. He explodes through the hit, but at the moment of contact, his feet are near the ice, which is allowed. You're allowed to follow through even if your feet leave the ice afterward. You know, fans see the gap between skate and ice, and if the player is just, you know, barely off the ice, they say he's jumping. What the NHL is really looking at is whether a player is purposefully leaving their feet to get extra height to target the opponent's head. Kind of just momentum, how hockey and how hitting works. However, he made no effort to avoid Nyes' head, and rather than jumping, I think the worst thing the hitting player does here is lose all that nice depth he had going into the hit. He stands up, and that's really why Nyes takes most of the damage. And I think that's where he could have been dinged for a penalty. People are saying he's chicken winging here, which what does that even mean in this case? Like he's brought his arm next to his body to lay the hit. And no, the head is not the primary point of contact. It's incidental contact. And also, I will say, if you think the way the rules are currently is insufficient, I understand that. You can go more of the IAHF or international hockey route where any hit to the head, whether secondary or not, is penalized. And I think a lot of people would get behind that. And I think that might be the way things are headed. I honestly, I honestly do feel like this is a situation that looks worse than it is because of how Nyes was skating and how White Cloud fully exploded through the hit, how he also straightened his body up. But I don't know. It's not the worst thing I've ever seen. I'll just say that. I don't think it's worth a five game suspension like I've seen a lot of people saying, but I think it could have easily been a penalty and maybe even a game suspension. The main knock really is that he makes no effort not to hit the head. It really depends on how the NHL wants to read the rule book and how they want to set the tone for the league. Just my thoughts, though. Hopefully, Nyes isn't out too long because the Leafs need him. Matthews, Domi, Pacioretty, David Camp, Yarncroak. There are some holes in that lineup right now. Great game by the Leafs, though. Actually, very, very entertaining game overall. Just of all, grab the shutout for Toronto, and they keep rolling. But if you disagree, I look forward to hearing it. Your thoughts on the game and the hit, of course, down below.